Hello everyone, TKC here with another deck profile for Evo Fury. So this deck is really fun, I love this deck. It's mono fire Dracons pretty much. You may have seen it in the match I went against my friend where he was using mono light, which contains a lot of blockers, but they didn't seem to be much of a problem because this deck handles them quite well, I guess. Um, so here we go, this is the deck profile, 40 cards exactly of course, and just fire. So here we go. We got three blaze belchers easily put into this deck it's you know it's the thing with this deck is it's not really quite rush it's kind of like in the middle like it's rush but it kind of ends up being a very aggressive deck later into the game uh so it's kind of like gorby's coined ag rush kind of deck where um you know if your rush plan doesn't work out you still have you know backup plans so we got the blaze belchers in here and we also got three jet flame bodyguard it's really great against other rush decks because you have these to kind of counteract their creatures early on which is really nice it's also the cheapest dracon bait which is really good because we have tons of dracon evolutions in this deck uh for turn two we got three dracon weaponsmiths of course this is pretty much the best dracon bait by far it's really good and we also got three cliff cutters which works really well in this deck because we got six evos so uh Happens a lot that this ends up being a 3,000 power creature, which is really great. And lastly, for level 2 creatures, we got two Lava Leapers. Uh, I don't know, I'm not really a huge fan of this card, but I guess it's a backup for when you just simply do not have Dracons early game, and you just kind of put this turn 2, and they can't really do much to it early on, except when they have blockers, and this kind of cries because it can't do much against blockers. But a lot of the cards in this deck can't either, so I don't know. I'm not really sure about this card. I might just like add in more spells like two heat seekers or something but uh we'll see um for level three uh we got the three blast forge slaver of course there's tons of dracons in this deck i think there's at least half the deck in here is dracon so uh this boosts them all really well it makes your evolutions go over like every blocker and also be safe from enemy creatures attacking those blockers so you know your laser arm dracons a six thousand tapped and eight thousand when attacked so there's not really much that can do with that, and that's why we need the Slaver uh, play to actually protect your evolutions. Um, then we also got three Super Bazooka Volcanodons, uh, the same reason as a lot of the other creatures in this deck. It goes up to 5,000 power, so there's not many things that could uh, block this unless they trade. So this is why Bazooka is really good, and it's also bait, of course. And of course, you have to include the Laser Arm Dracons. This card is a beast, a real powerhouse early on in the game, level 3, there's 9 cards in here that come out uh, turn 2 or earlier that you could evolve on top of this, so it's very easy to get this out. I think I get it out almost every game, uh, and if I don't get this out, I get the other evolution. I get Blast Forge Captain, which you'll see later. Uh, so now for turn 4, we got the Mono Fire card. We got 3 Dracon Warchief. It's great because it's Gill Flame that stays on the field, except it only has 3,000. Uh, but if you have Blast Forge Slaver on the field, it ends up being a Gill of Flame that stays on the field, which is just great, and it attacks for 7,000. Uh, but you can't not forget about Gill of Flame himself, but I'm only going to be using two, because there's so many fast attacks in this deck already. I mean, we have the six evolutions, we have these, and I guess this just adds on to it. It ends up being 11 fast attacks with these two. And I'm also not running Jet Thrust Darter, because of that same reason. It's just a really weak fast attacker that's not a Dracon, so it doesn't really fit well into this deck. I mean, you have more fast attackers, which is always great, but uh, I think 11 is enough, and the 11 that I have are just beasts. They all have minimum 5,000 power, pretty much. Uh, Laser Arm Dracon attacks for 6,000. This goes for 5,000. This goes for 5,000. And lastly, Blast Forge Captain. Uh, this is actually 4,000. I was wrong there. Um, but anyways, Blast Forge Captain is amazing, especially at 3. It easily comes out because of all the Dracon bait, and it's just such a powerhouse. You bring this out, and it just clears blockers for days, and it just keeps on doing that and keeps on doing that. And with Blast Forge Slaver on the field, even better. Uh, I don't think I've ever had that happen on my field before, except like when I didn't need it. Uh, but that is a really awesome combination to have. Slaver with these evolutions is just such an awesome combination to have on the field. And uh, yeah, these cards put in so much work. I love the Blast Forge Captains in here. And lastly, we got nine spells in this deck because we want to swarm the field with creatures. We can't have too many spells in this, you know, ag rush deck. Uh, so you got to have, of course, the three combat missile. That's an obvious inclusion to get rid of blockers. I also have three rock bites in here instead of heat seekers. 
Uh, there are way too many level 3 cards in this deck. And I feel that Heatseekers is a card that you don't really want to hard cast. The only reason to really include Heatseekers in this deck is to get rid of turn 2 3000 power blockers. But, I mean, it ends up just being like another Comet Missile. Um, I would rather have the Rock Bite to kind of kind of come back in the game later on. And Rock Bite could actually put some use into uh, Seneschals and stuff like that that are attacking. And, uh, you know, just more Shield Blast the better. And then lastly... Of course, you got the three Tornado Flames uh, that pretty much deals with a lot of the early game threats, except for some of the evolutions that are quite brutal. It doesn't take care of Sabretooth, though, and a lot of the other cards, so uh, Tornado Flame is just to get rid of those uh, annoying cards early on, Frog Zuka, things like that. So that's the deck, guys. I love this deck so much. Modifier, Dracon. Really fun deck. It's just, I don't know, I just really love the deck. It's really fun. I never really thought Monofire could actually be a thing, but uh, with the new cards in Evo Fury, especially the Evolutions, and even Dracon Warchief, it easily puts it over the top. It's just, it's really great. I love this deck so much. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this deck profile. Leave any feedback in the comments if you like. Leave a like on this video, and I'm gonna head out now. Alright guys, you guys have a nice day. See you later guys.